Jurassic Park may be fiction no longer. Man is trying to play God. Because man has been experimenting with resurrecting extinct animals. Yes, really, we'll never learn. These are 20 extinct animals being brought back to life. Number 20. Australian Night Parrot While extinction as a whole can be an absolute, there are few caveats to that that some of you might not know about. The biggest one is that sometimes a species can be dubbed extinct even though they very much are not. But why would someone say something is extinct when it isn't? Well, it's not about judgment or something cruel, but rather it's about being able to see the world as a whole. Because since we can't scour the earth from top to bottom at a moment's notice to ensure that the animal is still alive, it can hide from sight and thus be declared extinct without others knowing the truth. And a great example of this is the Australian night parrot. This endangered bird was indeed declared extinct until a small sect of them would be found. Oh, and I do mean small, as no more than 100 of them were discovered in their secret place. For a population size, that's not very many at all. Furthermore, you can hardly blame people for calling them extinct when they didn't get spotted for over 65 years. After they were eventually discovered again, the group known as Bush Heritage were asked to come in and help conserve this bird so that it wouldn't go fully extinct. They made the 56,000 hectare Pullen Pullen Reserve to protect the rediscovered population of endangered night parrots. A truly noble endeavor, and the goal is obviously not just conversation, but also to try and ensure that breeding goes well so that the population numbers can once again rise. They're going to do all they can to help these parrots, and hopefully their efforts will work out in the end. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This sweet topic is a great example of when extinct animals are being brought back. It is, of course, dinosaurs. How could we make a video like this without touching upon the possibility of dinosaurs? This one is only a rumor, but there's a lot of talk lately that scientists may be attempting to resurrect dinosaurs. Some people even claim to have had sightings of some of these experiments. Shocking, right? And probably a very, very bad idea. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic number 19 elephant shrews Here's another species that were thought to be extinct due to them not being seen for many, many years. In fact, when it comes to the elephant shrew, they were last seen in the wild in the 1970s. Fast forward now about 50 years to the year 2020, and they've popped up again, much to the amazement of all who knew about the species to begin with. The creature was found alive and well in the Horn of Africa during a scientific expedition, no doubt making that expedition totally worth it to those who were there. Now, if you don't know, elephant shrews are neither elephants nor shrews, but related to aardvarks, elephants, and manatees. But as you can tell, they have a very distinctive look that grants them their name. Now, naturally, the team was pumped when they found the elephant shrew in one of their traps. They were actually excited and elated when they first opened the trap that had the elephant shrew in it, and they didn't know which species occurred until they saw the diagnostic features of a little tufted tail. They looked at each other and knew that it was something special. The expedition itself was done because of reports that the elephant shrews had been seen in the area, and one of the people who joined in on the search had claimed to have seen them before. They were absolutely absolutely correct, and a species can now be studied and preserved due to those facts. Number 18. Bermuda Petrel as you can hopefully tell by now, it's not just about giving life to a once thought extinct species, it's about making sure that you find them and then conserve them so that they truly don't go extinct. The Bermuda petrel is a great example of that occurring in a rather dramatic fashion. In fact, it was so believed to be extinct that when it was found to be very much alive, it was dubbed a Lazarus species as its resurrection took everyone by surprise. Now, if you aren't familiar 
familiar with the Bermuda petrel, it is, and was, a bird that lived on islands. Ones that just so happened to be inhabited by man eventually, and as you can guess, that really put a hurting on the population numbers of the bird. In the 1500s, passing Spanish sailors and the rats and pigs that they brought with them feasted freely on the birds and their eggs during pit stops on the North Atlantic islands like the Bermudas. In the 1600s, just 20 years after the British settlement on Bermuda, the bird would then be declared extinct. Think about that for a moment. At one point in time on these Bermuda islands, there were said to be over one million of the birds, and then after humans came around, they were extinct in only 20 years. Then and fast forward to 1951, and hundreds of years after they'd been declared extinct, a teenager of all people found about 17 nests of these birds. He right then and there became their first conservation officer and spent decades taking care of them and preserving them so that their population numbers could grow. He did this well into his 80s, and whether or not they realize it, those birds do owe a lot to that very special man. Number 17. Kangaroo Rat now, you might actually be familiar with this species, not the least of which is because I've talked about it before in our videos. The kangaroo rat aren't really related to kangaroos as you would expect, but they're very much like them, especially in their legs, their hind legs to be specific. They have a certain spring to them that allows them to both jump up high and kick things with extreme force, and you might even be familiar with a video of a kangaroo rat kicking the head of a snake that was trying to eat it. Check it out, it was pretty cool. But the reason that I mention it is that while many are familiar with this rat right now, up until 2000. 2017, they were actually believed to be extinct. Before then, the kangaroo rat was not seen for over 30 years, and that's a really long time for this little guy not to be witnessed. You can likely guess what drove the rats away. That's right, humans, but there's a twist. The region that the kangaroo rats were living in was one that was taken over by farmers. They changed the landscape and thus forced out the rats. But in the last decade or so, droughts were affecting the crops and other things, and as a result, the rats would come back. Some are worried that they might be forced out again, so efforts are being taken to try and prevent that, and we hope that they succeed, because this animal is just too cool to be gone from the world. Number 16. Rare Black Leopard some may think that it's odd that one of the big cats of the world was on the verge of extinction, but in truth, that's not really surprising at all. Between invasion of habitats, poaching, and other factors, various big cat species face dangers that could lead to their extinction, and one of the best examples of this is via the rare black leopard. There had been reports of this cat roaming around Kenya, but no one had any definitive proof. So then, a team of conservationists went to Kenya, where the rumored location for the leopard was, they set up their cameras, and then they simply waited. Months would pass by without any signs, but then one came into view, and it was exactly what they had expected. The leopards, also known as black panthers because of their look, were so rare that the ones who got the footage and pictures and published them in a paper noted that the last confirmed sighting was that in 1909. So in effect, it would take 110 years for them to be rediscovered. The leopard's coat is a pitch black as a result of melanism, a gene mutation that causes an overproduction of pigment. It's the opposite of albinism, where an animal produces too little pigment and thus their skin is white. Now, you can't deny it. This is a very cool thing to know that exists in our world, and we could definitely use a lot more cool animals out there. So if we can conserve this leopard slash panther for future generations to behold, well, the people of Wakanda would be very proud. Number 15, the Pinocchio Lizard. Now, admit it, you want to see what happens when the Pinocchio lizard tells a lie. It's okay to tell me that that's your goal because you're likely not the only one that's thinking that. And it's actually fortunate for you that this lizard was rediscovered because it was out of sight and out of mind for about 50 years. Yes, this particular lizard was thought dead and gone for half a century before it was rediscovered in the forests of Ecuador. Talk about a dormant period. 
The other part of the story is that it would be found by dumb luck. You see, it was first discovered in the 1950s, and that's where the name Pinocchio Lizard came from due to its long nose and a certain Disney character. But then in the 1960s, it would not be seen again for up to decades. Move over to the year 2005 and a woman in Ecuador would witness one crossing the street. Yes, really, something so simple. Why did the Pinocchio Lizard cross the road? not to get spotted by humans, but it failed. Even after that discovery, they were alive. It took quite a while for them to be found again. The team that were able to get photos of the thing were last looking for this lizard for three years. So yes, that's quite a bit of time. Now you might be interested in why the Pinocchio lizard has such a nose. Well, it's a funny story because only the males have that feature, not the females. Number 14, Hula Painted Frog. The next entry is a bit tricky to talk about because the hula painted frog is alive as you can guess, but the reason that it almost went extinct is honestly a bit understandable. Allow me to explain. The area in which the frog lived was a marshland, not exactly a surprise for a frog, and in the 1950s the marshland of the Hula Valley, where the frog gets its name, was not exactly a healthy place. In fact, the lands were actually a breeding ground for malaria, which in the 1950s was something no one wanted to catch due to how sick you could get and potentially die from. That's a downer. So they drained the area into the Jordan River in order to try and clean it up. But the operation would lead to several things occurring that were not intended, such as how the reclaimed land became useless for agriculture, toxins invaded the river, and dumped peat routinely caught on fire. This naturally affected all the ecosystems in the area, and one of the casualties was believed to be the hula painted frog. It would not be until 2011 when a random search of the area revealed a female frog that they didn't recognize. After being studied, it was indeed declared to be the hula painted frog. Now, while we don't know exactly how it survived the destruction of everything in its area, what we do know is that in the 1990s, the area got a natural flood and rehydrated everything, so that might have been just enough to bring the stragglers of the species back into their homes, and hopefully they won't be driven away again. Number 13, Coelacanth. What if I told you that a creature from ancient times that should be dead is in fact very much alive? Would you be surprised? Well, at this point you shouldn't be. And with that, let's talk about the coelacanth. This fish was created during the Cretaceous period of history, and if you know your history in detail, you'll know that the planet has gone through several extinction level events that wiped out many species across the world. A coelacanth was long thought to be one of those casualties. This only grew in belief when the fossils of the creature would be found and no other fish in the water that were known of looked like it. And thus, it became extinct until it wasn't. In 1938, a marine biologist found this long dead fish while looking through a fisherman's hall in Africa. And not only was it a coelacanth, it also looked exactly like the fossils that were found of its kind. Now, naturally, and quite fairly, you would wonder how such a creature survived for millions upon millions of years without anyone knowing that it existed today. Well, while we can't speak as to how it survived, we can talk about how we never found it. The ocean, well, it's massive, and we don't know every nook and cranny of it, nor do we really know what depths that this fish likes to live at and where all it even lives to begin with. So thus, it would go undetected for quite a long time. Adding further to its proof of life, another species of coelacanth would be found in Indonesia, and if this long gone species is still out there, what else might be out there for us to discover? Number 12, South Island Taka'i. Now, I've already shown you that there are many birds who have been thought to be extinct but aren't, and now we get to see the South Island Takai, a bird that was believed to be extinct for half a century. Then they would be found in the Fjordlands Merchantson Mountains in 1948, and suddenly they were not extinct anymore. Yay! 
The bird species was thought to be extinct due to how various competing and invasive species were beating out the flightless bird. Once they were rediscovered, conservation efforts immediately took place to try and keep the population alive and thriving. The New Zealand Department of Conservation made sure that they did their job correctly and are now watching over and protecting the wild population of the bird. They say that the rapidly growing population enables them to boost the wild population and look to returning the bird back to areas where they've long been thought to be extinct. The wild population holds the most valuable birds in terms of genetics and the learned behaviors that allow them to survive in a mountainous habitat. The released birds are all fitted with transmitters, as are some of the resident birds, and that allows them to look closely at tracking the survival over the coming months. We do wish them well in their conservation efforts and hope Hopefully, they'll be able to keep the rival species away from them enough so that this bird can thrive and once again become large in numbers. Number 11. Guinea Singing Dog As you may have guessed, there are many kinds of conservation. And for some species, the best place to conserve them are things like zoos and similar protected habitats. For the guinea singing dog, they were said to be extinct outside of the 300 that were in places like those. However, rumors would begin to spread that their very distinctive howls were being heard again outside of where humans were keeping them. Specifically, there were reports and pictures of them being discovered in the Indonesian half of the large island of north of Australia. An expedition was then sent out to see if they could find more, and on their first trek they were able to collect fecal samples for DNA purposes of the dogs, along with pictures of them as well. The locals had been calling them highland dogs, thus kind of muddying the waters, if you will, in regards to identification. The samples that they received were not enough proof, so they then went back and actually retrieved blood samples, comparing them to the dogs that they had of other species from Australia like dingoes. And indeed, they were guinea singing dogs of Papua New Guinea that were outside of human care. This is a huge win for the animal population because conservation in zoos and certain habitats are not enough at times to save a population. But if they are able to be out in the wild and also survive, that gives them hope. And now they do indeed have that. Number 10. Eastern Cougar We'll now head back to the big cats, because this go-around we're going to be talking about the Eastern Cougar. And this one will be another one that's difficult to talk about. But why, you may ask? Well, that's because, according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, this species is indeed extinct and as such was delisted from the endangered section of the list of animals. The problem with all of that is that there is no proof that they are indeed extinct, and furthermore, there's no proof that they're alive either. So it's a bit of a gray area as one may expect. The Eastern Cougar was said to be one of the most prized and powerful animals in Canada. In fact, it was the biggest cat in Canada at one time, so you can see why people wanted it to stick around. They were known to inhabit a certain area of the nation, but after a while they just were not spotted anymore. Many have tried to hold out hope that they will be spotted, but it hasn't happened as of yet. However, as I've shown you, that doesn't mean that it won't happen. Some species have gone years, decades, and even millennia and millions of years before being spotted, and there's hope that the eastern cougar will return, and perhaps in some people's hearts, that's simply enough. Number 9. Javan Tiger Here's a bit more of an uplifting big cat story because now I'm going to talk about the Javan tiger. What is a Javan tiger? Well, that was a big cat species known to be around Indonesia up until about a few decades ago. That's when all traces of it would seem to disappear and as a result it would be labeled extinct. Then in the year 2017, a picture would be snapped in West Java that showed what appeared to be a Javan tiger roaming around. How's that for a sudden appearance at the perfect time? Oh, but wait, there's more and it gets better. 
The person who took the shot was a park ranger who was familiar with all the species within the park, so when he didn't recognize this one, he knew that something was off. His fellow ranger had seen the large cat, but with stripes a bit different from the leopards that they usually found there. Finally, he was able to photograph it, and they suspect that it's either a type of Javan leopard or another one of the large cats, such as the Javan tiger. To be clear, it doesn't definitively prove that this is indeed the tiger. Some even say that it was close, but not exactly close enough. Only time will tell if it's true, and if nothing else, there's an unexpected guest at that park to be identified. Number 8. Cuban Solonodon So far, I've honestly shown you a bunch of creatures that you wouldn't mind being alive outside of the uh, fancy topic, of course. But now, let's talk about a living fossil that would be rediscovered, and it's not exactly the nicest thing around. This thing is a venomous mammal that was once listed as extinct, and now seems to be back. The species was thought dead because its habitat was taken down by deforestation, as well as other species being introduced that would help to kill it off in a various amount of ways. But you said they were venomous, you cry out. And yes, they are. They have a venomous saliva that they can inject into their teeth to kill their prey, but the Cuban solenodon isn't the biggest thing around, so things like cats and dogs were actually able to kill it. It would take a 10-year expedition to discover the species again, but they captured a group of seven of them and even had proof that there were more out there. Number 7. Pava a la Blanca the pava a la blanca was a bird that was first documented in 1877 with a unique feature of being a black bird with white feathers, and yet mysteriously, they all vanished from sight. Multiple expeditions would be held to try and find the bird, but none were successful, and as such, they were labeled extinct. However, in Peru in 1977, the pava a la blanca made a comeback, and people immediately went to work trying to conserve them so that they wouldn't fade away again. And they do indeed have their work cut out for them. While they were able to find the pava a la blanca, it wasn't exactly in the largest of numbers. They only had about 250 of them to work with. Still though, they're not extinct after long being thought of as such, and that's a very good thing. Number 6. Woolly Mammoth you may think that I'm joking with you on this one, but not really. The woolly mammoth were massive and furry creatures that dominated during the Ice Age and the Ice Age movies with Ray Romano and Queen Latifah, and many scientists would agree that they died when things warmed up. However, there have been claims made over the years that they are in fact alive, but where are they that they're not being spotted? Well, Siberia, of course. The very frigid nation is said to be the home to whatever woolly mammoths are left in the world, and it does make sense in a lot of ways. It's very, very cold there, and they would be roaming around the nation, so thus they wouldn't be spotted by man unless that man was very lucky, and they would know how to find food and water within that tundra. In fact, people have claimed to have gotten footage of woolly mammoths in Siberia, but the footage isn't the best, and many think that it's actually a hoax. But given all that I've shown you so far, can we really discount those facts so quickly? Number 5. Australian Bandicoot the Australian bandicoot return from extinction is actually definitive proof that conservation and breeding attempts can work. Once upon a time, this creature roamed wild throughout parts of Australia. Then cats, foxes, and farmers decimated their numbers until there were only about 150 of them left. After that, conservationists came in and began to protect them and do breed and release numbers. Over time, the plan would actually work, and eventually over 50 1,500 Australian bandicoots were in conservation status, while others were roaming happily in the wild. As a result of this, they were able to have their conservation status changed. Now, this doesn't mean that they're out of the woods yet, not even by a long shot, but they were able to get better, and that's just half the battle. Number 4. Lord Howe Island Stick 
If you can't tell, I'm not going to talk about a plant. I'm talking about an animal, the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, to be precise. This was also an animal that lived in Australia, but then black rats became abundant and wiped out their numbers by the time the 1920s had rolled around. Thus, they were declared extinct. Then in the 1960s, some fresh remains of them would be found, proving that they were actually still alive somewhere. After that, in 2001, a set of them would be discovered in Australia. What's more, many of them are capable of breeding, and as such, the conservation and breeding attempts to get them back to stronger numbers has begun. It won't be an easy task, but it can be accomplished with time. Number 3. Pygmy Tarsier there's a small twist in this tale, as you'll find out soon enough. The pygmy tarsier was considered one of the smallest primates in all of the world, which is unique when you actually think about it. They had not been seen alive, though, since 1921, and it was a long time before they would be found again. And so thus, they were then dubbed extinct. That is, until a team would come across one. And this is where the twist comes in, because they found one by accidentally trapping and killing it. Whoops! Thankfully, they were able to capture others who were very much alive, and even were able to put trackers on them so that they could follow their movements and potentially find more of them in the future. Number 2. Crested Gecko it's true that some geckos can get you a great car and home insurance, among other things, but they actually have to fight for survival as well. Such as with the crested gecko, in the 1980s this lizard was thought to be extinct, yet in the 1990s they were rediscovered and became one of the most popular things around. But why? Well, that's because they were made into pets in the good way, and they apparently were more than happy to mate in captivity, and thus their population numbers boomed, and these leaping lizards are now one of the most popular pets in the world today. If only all nearly extinct animals had an easy fix to get their population numbers up. Number 1. Ivory-billed Woodpecker Now I began with a bird, and I'll end with a bird. And this time, I'm ending with the Holy Grail bird, the one that's known as the Ivory-billed Woodpecker. This was once a proud bird that lived in areas of the United States and Cuba. But between the destruction of its environment and hunting, it would be wiped out. It soon became a Holy Grail bird because if you were to see one in the wild, it would be like discovering the Holy Grail. A very rare sight indeed. And that hunt has been going on for quite a while now, to the extent that the powers that be are once again wanting to label this creature as being extinct. In fact, the final verdict might just come down this September. No doubt many bird watchers and researchers are going to see if they can find this bird before then, and if so, they'll make sure that it doesn't truly go extinct. That's all from the realm of seemingly extinct animals being brought back to life. Were you amazed that so many creatures were able to get a second chance at life? And do you think that these revivals are going to help more species come back into the world? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.